Hi everyone, how's everyone doing? Well, I just thought I'd come on and quickly do a, a little update vlog because I haven't done one of those for a while now, for the past about the past three weeks. I've um, Since I've done a few other videos, I've done the a movie review on Spider-Man No Way Home, uh, the more fun stuff edition, and I've done some unboxing videos again. It was good to be doing those again. Uh, you know, I had some figures and a couple of toys I could do them with, and I've I've got another one which I filmed. I'm just waiting to edit. So yeah, okay. Well, how have things been uh, for the past? Um, you know, pretty much since I did my last update vlog. Well, things have been pretty decent. They've been they've been um, tagging along nicely. Um, recently, my mum uh, moved house uh, earlier this week, and um, you know, I've been going around helping her out with stuff. Uh, my sister's now home for the weekend to visit, um, which is good. Um, I, I, um, been, stay, I've not really a, a lot has happened, as I know I s so often say, um, I think I have been at home you know, a lot, the, you know, the past couple of weeks, where I've been more than anyone else is probably here at home, because, simply for the reasons is just, just not wanting to spend too much, and, um, uh, you know, getting more used to enjoying home life, um, course going back you know back to the lockdowns um i did come to appreciate sort of home life a lot more um because that's really all, all we could pretty much do you know um in you know during all the, th the three lockdowns and you know it, it it really feels now kind of that that's odd that that time's behind us you know and that we pretty much are though covid is very much still around and you know we're still wary of it we're still being careful about it we've just got we have just got to live with it and um yeah but I say I did really come to appreciate uh, home life a lot more uh, than, and since then I, you know, I've, you know, I've just spent more time at home and making use of things um, I have, and um, you know, I've been trying to improve my cooking skills, which yeah, I have. Well, not exactly cooking. I've I've not always been very confident using the oven. I've been more confident using the the electric hubs than the oven. I think for the reasons being just just being a bit wary of burning myself on a tray or you know or touch you know or or not not baking or cooking something properly in the oven. But I'm challenging myself now to do that so as to you know. So as to have more options um, to eat at home, and of course to get better at the budgeting for food shopping. <laughs> anyway, right. So um, yeah. Um, so what, what um, the thing the things um, I've been doing is I've been watching a lot of stuff. Um, I um, been I haven't been to the cinema uh, since I went to see the more fun stuff edition of Spider Man No Way Home, but I've been watching more stuff at home. You know, I've got the good old Disney Plus and Netflix. Um, I've been watching a lot of um, some other documentaries as well. Some old um, on YouTube. I've been watching a lot of um, old the true crime genre documentaries. Um, I think I've mentioned before. There's this. Uh, there's a you know a young YouTuber called Eleanor Neal um, who's a true crime youtuber she and I, I followed her for a, a couple of years now she she makes some awesome um true crime crime videos she discusses uh well-known cases from all around the world um t tells the story um of, e of each case and the people involved and what led up to the to uh, you know to the murder or, or the crime occurring and she mainly covers murder cases um, but yeah, um, I've, I've still, you know, and she's been putting a few new videos out, so I've been watching her, which is good. Um, okay, well, I suppose what I should show you is there have been a couple of purchases. Um, one being um, the new edition of, um, well, not the new edition, but the um, the new Splatoon game for the Switch, Splatoon 3. I had been planning to get that, so uh, I got that uh, on release date. I'd ordered it uh, just the day before, but it managed to come, which is great. And I have I have had a play on it, and um, really enjoy it. I'm really enjoying it because I, I really enjoyed Splatoon 2. I never had the first Splatoon for the Nintendo Wii U, although I did have a Wii U. Um, but uh, yeah, and I was aware recently. I wasn't aware that there was actually a Splatoon manga till recently. Um, I mean to check that out because I've been, I've been, when I've been going out into the city of Leicester, I've been um, 
going to the Forbidden Planet more and looking at all the mangas. I haven't really bought anything because, um, just because just I want to save money in it, you know, I've, um, and, uh, you know, as well as buying Splatoon um, and also treating myself to, I had to buy myself a new pair of shoes. I very much needed a new pair of shoes, which I know isn't very uh, exciting, but yeah. So I'm just, just uh, you know, just being more wary because obviously, you know, with the, the cost of living crisis coming into effect, you know, I'm going to start, we're just going to have to start being more sensible and more, you know, sensible and a, and a bit stricter with ourselves about, how often we indulge but anyway yeah so um things i plan to get well there are a couple of new switch games obviously i do have another convention coming up um for, um i have got another convention coming up in in october which is actually now it's just over three weeks away and i'm really looking forward to it um so that'll be fun and i'm going with mr triple o firestorm um sam um and i am um, also um known as one of the hosts for Bronies UK YouTube channel. So yeah. Um looking forward to that. <laughs> um it'd be good to be back there again. Um because uh we went to the same convention last year, uh PonyCon twenty we went to Pen PonyCon twenty twenty one and that was the first convention I think any of us were able to get to since the lockdown. So, yeah, that, that was great to be back. And obviously, you know, going back to, T, you know, having had TF Nation again this year um, has just been fantastic. Um, just the other day, someone um, asked me who, um, who are my, sh you know, who watched my um, TF Nation related videos. Uh, someone said to me, um, have I got over the kind of shock of being, you know, going back to reality after TF Nation? I say, yes, yes, I have. It, it's, it's been... It's been almost a month now, and yeah, it, you know, it's a great thing. It's I appreciate it. It's normally once a year, and it's just just something to look forward to. Um, it is only for a weekend, but very thankful to have it. Um, and, you know, when when one TFN ends, we have the next one to look forward to. That's how I look at it. <laughs> so yeah, okay. And right, there was a small purchase today, um, only only for one pound. The the Forbidden Planet had some. Uh, a, a box full of back issue comics for one pound each and after having a rummage through the box i uh went and got myself this uh grim grim's Nijin, um star wars star wars comic and yep and it has a advert on the back there for lego star wars the skywalker saga which uh, came out in um april and i, I you know it's a, that's a great game so i thought well if it's only one pound i thought you know i'll get myself this um so yeah so i thought that that was a good thing i've had a little look at it i haven't had a proper read through it yet but i have had a little look through it um while i was on the bus on the way home so yeah okay well that's very much um pretty much what i've got yep um of course uh, before i go i will mention of course we you know um her majesty i know yes her majesty has passed on um and it's a bank holiday weekend this weekend a rather unexpected bank holiday because of you know it was it was something i think i think we knew it was coming because we knew she wasn't in particularly good health but um you know uh you know may she rest in peace and and uh, you know life goes on so now we have king charles the third so yeah, so um, obviously yeah, we've got the bank holiday for her funeral on Monday, and I intend to just relax this bank holiday and get out and about in a bit and um, see the family, uh, which we have some plans. Okay, well, thanks all for watching. You're all awesome. See you soon. Bye.